change this one thing as you get older. It will change everything. Welcome to Spirita Vivo. Getting older is not a nice thing. Everyone knows that. We become physically weak and are no longer as mentally fit. What's beautiful about that? But is there really the one thing that can change everything? We want to answer this all important question in today's podcast. How are you? Would you like to be 20 again? I think I know your answer. Let's talk about getting older. Let's talk about that one thing that can change everything as you get older. A thing so simple and easy that anyone can do it. Almost all people think that aging is generally not a good thing. Of course, we often have more and more physical complaints or even illnesses. Mentally, we lose weight. Everyday life becomes more difficult. Let's talk about these negative aspects a moment later. But first, if most people have this belief that aging is bad, we inevitably come to this phenomenon, mass consciousness. Let me briefly define mass consciousness. Mass consciousness is the belief, worldview, and view of life held by the majority of the population, that all of this is taken for granted and is true without questioning it. Mass consciousness is therefore also the law of the average, and it is often only true to a very limited extent, or even completely wrong. One aspect of this mass consciousness is the belief that aging is bad. Nobody cares about you anymore. Feelings of uselessness or sickness overtake you. Do you know these beliefs? And one day you are on the fringes of society, and this feeling that no one is interested in me anymore that is so difficult for many people to bear. But, as I said, it's a mass consciousness, and these statements, these thoughts, are completely wrong. Please never tell yourself I'm too old. Don't say I'm getting old, nobody will take me anymore. Don't say, if everything were still that easy at my age. Exactly this awareness, exactly this way of thinking blocks the way to a more beautiful, better, simpler, and more livable future. Look at it this way. Your age is your biggest advantage. When I meet a new person, I never ask. How old are you? I always ask above all, how much life experience do you have now? In this way, age, for example, 65 years, takes on a completely different meaning. Wow, 65 years of life experience. Because age is only in our heads. There are people who are mentally old by the age of 30, while there are 80-year-olds who seem really young. Our mental attitude often determines our real age. We can be 80 years old in our passport, and at the same time we can feel like a 30-year-old at least mentally. Yes, your body ages. We don't want to negate that. Don't try to prevent aging no matter what diet you follow. No matter how much or what exercise you do, you will age. A diet and no training, no sport keeps you young in the long run. This too is false mass consciousness. With sport you live healthier, without question. But not a more. That too is mass consciousness and... Above all, people no longer live with competitive sports. When does exercise become unhealthy? Sooner or later it always has to do with the word performance. I'm telling you that as a former competitive athlete, Youth and old age are relative terms and do not depend on a person's physical condition, but on their thinking. If you think in terms of opportunities and possibilities, want to keep learning, want to get better, are open to new ideas, are curious, get involved in the innovations and changes of life and the world, and especially get involved in divine providence, then you will stay young, mentally, and internally. It doesn't matter how old you are. A person gets old when he or she sinks into the daily routine, both professionally and privately when he or she stops dreaming, stops trying new things and loses curiosity about life. 
Do you also know this experience when you have children and you suddenly realize you can't play power tennis with your son or daughter for hours anymore, or you can't run as fast as your children? You realize your physical reactions are slowing down, which really just means your life is changing. Change is good. You no longer need as much strength and energy as a young person, because with the help of your wisdom and life experience, you can do it much faster and can implement things more efficiently and thus achieve better results in many cases. But your character, your faith and your conviction do not age. As Emerson once said, one only begins counting a man's years when nothing else in his life counts. In the past, it was always an issue on the labor market that older people hardly had any chances. There was that time when companies actually only wanted young people, but what if you have life experience, also for the job market? You have skills, experience, and knowledge that a college graduate, for example, cannot even come close to having. And when you're older, it's very important to change your mindset. My age is my biggest advantage. And emphasize this advantage very clearly because your age is in any case an indispensable asset for the company or for your own independence. If you have the right attitude. Gray hair is the proof of wisdom, of professional experience, of sovereignty, of inner peace. They mean experience, understanding and cleverness if you have consistently gone your way. In addition, there is often emotional and spiritual maturity. Your age is ideal, for example, to pass on all your experience and knowledge to the younger generation. Age is maturity, and if you develop that mindset, you'll also realize, with every year, my life gets better and better, because I can throw more and more experiences into the scales of life. And with that, I can bring in much more simplicity and thus more and more successes more easily. But if a person is a victim of mass consciousness and is convinced that no one needs him anymore, that he thinks of himself as having nothing to offer others, that he thinks he is simply getting old, then of course this person cannot recognize all these advantages of being older. What our society calls the aging process is in reality an ingenious process of change. Murphy already knew it when he said, Old age is not the evening of life, but the dawn of wisdom. Therefore, have the courage and erase thoughts that life would be over at 45, at 55, at 65. Your 65th birthday can be the beginning of a new, exciting and thrilling phase of your life. Set your mind to it and it will happen. Your subconscious, your direct connection to the universe does not age. Just as the universe knows neither time nor space, so does your subconscious. It also does not know any limitations. Your subconsciousness is a part of the cosmic principle. Every phase of your life is another step forward because you have unconscious powers that far exceed your physical abilities because you are connected to the omnipotent power, to the universe. Our spirit lives forever. You do not need to grow old spiritually because life does not age. That is why often every person is as young inwardly as his way of thinking. Every human being is as young and useful for his own life and for the community as he thinks and feels. We are as strong and valuable as we think we are. Maybe you know that feeling when you've accomplished a task after you've put aside your doubts about whether you'd be able to do it at all. You started and you succeeded. You have outgrown yourself. You felt an unbelievable feeling of power, and maybe at that moment you also felt that so much more is possible in this life. Whether you are 45, 55, 65, or 85, always think about what you can give to other people and what life has to offer that you can still experience. For example, we are always happy when we take care of other people and you can always pass on your knowledge, your experiences, your wisdom to other people. You may be able to help and lift up other people when they are going through a negative phase in life because you know that life is an up and down. 
You can always learn new skills and you will find that there are always new wonders to discover in the world, that you will always rediscover the beauty of life. Try to learn something new every day, have a new experience every day and your mind will stay young and fit for a long time. This is why it is so important that we never withdraw mentally. For example, if someone asks what I should do with my retirement, that question is deadly in the truest sense of the word, a declaration of bankruptcy. Such a person is actually saying, I'm dead mentally and physically, close to new ideas, and I've become a victim of mass consciousness. The fact is, those who retire often die within months or a few years. Let's develop a different consciousness, a different belief. This belief says that if you do what you really love, then there is no meaningless retirement because you follow your realization. You make a difference. Everyone wants to develop, wants to make a difference. At the same time, the so-called retirement age is the gateway to a new adventure, a new phase of life with new exciting tasks of self-realization, the chance to finally realize all dreams that are still open. Now you have the chance to do everything you might not have had time to do during your professional years. In reality, you can do even more at 65 than you could at 30 because your understanding of life and a wisdom have increased and continue to increase with each passing day. Therefore, please never say I am old. Say I am wise. Say I am experienced. You can't learn experiences. You can have experiences. Say yes to an exciting life. Always get excited about new ideas. Educate your mind and spirit every day. Ask yourself, what can I learn next? And how do I stay young at heart? Your body is the mirror of your mindset. Strength and physical ability automatically diminish over the years. But your mental abilities can become sharper and better with the help of your subconscious mind, the power of the universe. Mother Nature makes you lose physical strength over time so that you can discover more and more your inner and mental strength that most 20-year-olds do not have access to at all. The truth is the human spirit does not age. You want proof? Socrates was still learning several musical instruments at the age of 70. Michelangelo painted his most famous paintings at 80. Goethe finished his novel Faust at 80, and Newton was tirelessly active at 85. Joseph Murphy Sr. started learning French at 65, had near-perfect command of the language by 70, and helped teach his daughter until he died at 99. Shortly before his death, it is said, his mind was still as clear as that of a 20-year-old. Now that you know about these things, you no longer give mass consciousness a place in your mind. You are as young as you feel at heart. You are as strong as you think you are. You are the light. Your gray hair, if you have any, is an asset. It shows your skills, experience, and wisdom you have gained over the years. Aging is not a tragedy. It is a change. Old age is nothing but seeing the truths of life from a higher level rising above them and realizing that we are all on a never-ending journey. We are penetrating further and further into the infinite ocean of life. Learn new things and dedicate yourself to new interests and understand the laws of life. Awaken the wonderful power of your subconscious. The other day a friend said to me that he would like to be young again, to which I replied that I don't want to be 20 anymore. Going through life with experience life makes things so much easier. So you see, it's all a matter of attitude. Now you know what the very most important thing we talked about at the beginning is. That one thing, that conviction that can change everything. In a few words, your attitude towards aging, your aging. Let's stay young at heart and the universe will support you on this path. If this podcast inspired you and you liked it, feel free to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel to never miss an episode. We would appreciate it very much. Thank you.
and see you soon on our channel.